Hello everyone and welcome to This is Africa and here's Rwanda. Now let's have a look, shall we? The scenic mountain rich nation of Rwanda was first inhabited a number of millennia ago by the Twa Pygmies. Between the 5th and 11th centuries, the Pygmies were displaced by the arrival of the Hutu people, an agriculturalist group who were themselves subdued by the next arrivals, the Tutsi people, pastoralists who established a kingdom ruling over the Hutu majority. In the 19th century, we meet Jijeli IV, a strong conqueror king, stringently opposed to outsiders. His reign, however, coincided with the amped up presence of European colonial powers eager to claim control over chunks of the continent. In the 1890s, Rwanda was claimed by Germany, and a German expedition journeyed to the kingdom, led by a very neat looking man with a very neat mustache. German influence increased under Yuhi V, but after Germany lost World War I, Rwanda passed to Belgian rule. Now, while the Belgians invested in extensive infrastructural projects, they also accentuated the divide between the Hutu and the Tutsis. The Belgians believed the Tutsis were racially superior to the Hutus and therefore officially favoured them. Hutus were not happy. In 1959, the Hutus arose in a revolution and seized control. The monarchy was abolished and Rwanda gained independence as a nation in 1962. Pro-Hutu policies were implemented and the Tutsis, thousands of whom fled the country, were not happy and launched attacks against Hutus. This made Hutus not happy and they attacked Tutsis again. Years passed, the country struggled and ethnic tensions remained. From 1973 to 94, Rwanda was run by a dictator, under whom a civil war flared up between the Hutu government and the Tutsi RPF rebel group. When the president's jet was shot down by no one knows, his death sparked one of the worst events of the 20th century, the Rwandan genocide. A hundred days of slaughter in which Hutu militias targeted Tutsis, killing some 500,000 to 800,000 and killing moderate Hutus too, as the world looked on in horror and the UN did nothing. Thing. The RPF continued to fight, however, led by Paul Kagame, who eventually emerged victorious. Kagame became president, and the long, long process of recovery began. Things today are far from ideal, and the Human Development Index ranking is low, but many improvements have been made, and quality of life and life expectancy have both risen, and we wish Rwanda all the best, but as for me, it's bye for now. Bye bye <laughs>